Welcome to this video in which we will solve a past paper question together involving differentiation but also connected rates of change. So all the credit goes to Cambridge examinations and you make sure to check my website explainingmaths.com for all my other three resources. Now what's going on? It says the diagram shows a rectangular block of ice of x by x by 3x centimeters as you can see. Now first of all we have to obtain an expression in terms of x for the total surface area A of the block and write down an expression for the derivative. Okay, so first the uh, surface area A, let's do that over here. So A equals, so the area of all the individual faces added together. So we have here in front, it's a square and the dimensions are x by x. So the area is going to be x squared, there you go. But you do not just have one of them, you have two of them, because also at the back, if I do some dots like this, you see that, at the back you have the exact same face, so x squared times two, so two x squared. And then we have the rectangles, this one, and all the other rectangles are of the same dimension. So three x times x, so that uh, so I'm gonna say plus, 3x times x, so that's 3x squared. And how many of them do we have? In total, we have one, two, three, four of those, so times four. Now, which makes sense because then we have four of those rectangles, two of those squares, so six faces altogether. Um, let's expand those brackets first. 2x squared plus 12x squared. And if you add that, I combine the like terms, the total surface area is going to be 14x squared. There we go. And then we also have to find the derivative um, of that particular expression. And I'm going to write that, uh, I'll do that here at the bottom a little bit. So a prime equals, so it's 14 times two, which is 28 x to the power one. Yeah, because you subtract one index over there, so two becomes a one, so 28 x. There we go. Um, that is da dx. Perhaps I want to write that there, da dx. Because we move on to the second part, given that the ice is melting in such a way that A is decreasing at a constant rate of 0.14 centimeter square per second, calculate the rate of decrease of x at the instant when x is 2. Now that's a lot of information, that sounds quite scary and difficult, but it's not. It's connected rates of change. And what do you need to do? First of all, we need to look at that part of the information. 0.14 centimeters squared per second. Yeah? So A is decreasing, but with regards now to the time, yeah? we're looking at seconds. So DA DT is apparently 0.14. That's what they are telling you in the question. And what is the question? They're asking, calculate the rate of decrease of X yeah? with regards to the time. So the question is, what is DX? dt. And um, connected rates of change because you have to connect certain rates of change because they give me dA dt. So I'm going to write down dA dt. And then I'm going to think of, okay, but what do I have to times dA dt to get dx dt? Well, first of all, in that fraction, I need to have a dx in the numerator. But I also somehow need to get rid of that dA because now I have dx in the numerator dt in a denominator, which is exactly what I want, dx over dt. But I have to get rid of that dA. And how do I get rid of that? By putting a dA here. Because now if I would multiply this out, I can get rid of the common factor at dA over dA is gone. So I'll be left with dx over dt. And this is what we mean with connected rates of change. Now. What does that now exactly mean? Well, dA dt is 0 0.14, so 0 0.14, and dx dA is the reciprocal of dA dx. So let's find dA dx because they're asking it at x at the instant when x is 2. So if we find dA dx uh, when x is 2, so that is uh, 28 times 2, which is, uh, what is that, 56, okay, so dA dx is 56, that makes dx dA, the reciprocal, is then going to be 1 over 56. 
So 0 0.14 times 1 over 56, or 0 0.14 divided by 56, you can work it out on your calculator, it's going to be 0 0.0025. There you go. So connected rates of change. Again, read the question carefully. They give you a particular rate of change there. They say dA with regards to the time is 0 0.14, and they're asking for dx dt. And then you have to connect the rates of change um, and in order to be able to find dx dt. Yeah, so in this case, dA dt times dx dA, so 0 0.0025. Like and share if it was useful. Um, I've got a few more of these videos explaining uh, connected rates of change. So check my website explainingmouse.com for all my free resources nicely organized. Take care.